Okay, the first thing you need to do on your Xbox is press the middle Xbox button. Go right, go to system settings, go to memory, um, and then you want to make sure your hard drive is plugged in. So I'm just going to pause this and do that quickly. Okay, so I plug that in, and then you want to go to hard drive. Uh, gamer profiles and choose your original one. So my online one is Aaron's number one. So press A, go move, press A again, go to your memory stick, and that's it for the Xbox part. I'll now switch over to the computer and we'll carry on from there. Okay, now we're back to the computer and what you want to do is is put your USB in that you just put into your Xbox and um, next thing you want to do is um, this folder uh, called Gamertag Hack um, I will provide in this video description for you and you want to open that up and then you want to open USB XTA FGUI application, double click that and make sure your USB is in properly and you want to go file, open device and then you'll see it says content or zero point uh, DIR content or something along the lines of that you want to double click that once and you want to double click the first one you won't have all of these, it's just because I've done all those previously you just want to double click the first one first one again and again and again and you'll notice that if you keep on clicking the first one again then um, it will carry on being the same file so just click that once or double click it or whatever just so it's highlighted and then you'll do extract and you want to extract it to your desktop and just click save and you want to minimize this make sure you don't close it Right, now the next thing you want to do is open up this file called EZGT 2.1. Open up that. And it's this program here, EZGT 2.1 application. Double click that. And you'll see this opens. Go to the top left, click that icon, click open. Click the file you just saved to your desktop. Open. And as you can see, it's my gamer tag, Aaron's number one. And you can get rid of that. Go to add. Up the and you can use A, B, X, Y, L, R, L, T, R, T, left, right, L, B, R, B, up, down, left, right, red, yellow, green, light blue, blue and pink colours. Um, for, but for mine I'm just going to use my... Um, I'm just going to put... I'm gonna, I'll, I'll make up a name. I'll do British Legend or something. I'll do... Uh, but. For every uh, colour, it takes up two um, spaces, and you can only use 15 characters. So make sure you you know that. Um, and before each letter, you have to click the colour you want. You can't just click the colour and then type it all out because that doesn't work like that. Okay, so um, for example, I'll just do I'll do Aaron just for now. So I'll do red, a blue. A red R blue O red N and then you go back to the icon click save save it to your desktop and then you can close this and as you can see it's made the new folder here and that was the original this is the new hacked one um, now what you want to do is um, go to Modio, which you downloaded, click Modio folder and the Modio application, open that up, wait for it to load, and you can close these little sidebars, don't need those, right now what you can do is you go to the top and you want Resigner, open file and then open file again, and you don't want this one you want to go to uh, your desktop 
and you want the folder one. You don't want just the, the normal file, you want the folder one. Open that up, and go right to the end, so it's to this file. So let me just quickly show you that again. So desktop, open this file, first one, first one, and then you'll come to the last one. Open that up. As you can see, it's open that. And then down the bottom right, you want to click rehash and resign just a couple of times. Just click that a couple of times. Then close that, close that. And the last thing you want to do is open this back up again, which you shouldn't have closed earlier. And you want to go to dot dot, which is the second one, dot dot. Hit it again and again and again. And so you're back to the content again open content and then you want to go to inject folder and then find the folder which you modded press OK and uh, that's done for now and now you disconnect your USB and you're going to want to put it back into your Xbox 360 okay so now what you want to do is go back you're on your Xbox and you want to go to memory unit Gamer profiles, and you'll see you have two now. You want to go to the first, your main account and move that over to your hard drive, and then you want to move over your modded one that you just made over to your hard drive as well. Okay, and then back out all of that. Make sure you've got your game in and start it up. And then you want to log in to your modded one. Just choose any old avatar for now. And then an error code should come up and that's good. Right. And then, just do all this rubbish a sec. You won't have to worry about that, it's just a game. Right, go to multiplayer. Select hard drive. Right. Okay. So now go to Xbox Live, and then it'll ask you to sign in. You want to sign into your normal one. Sign in, and you go to Xbox Live, and as you can see, it's modded. Just there. Uh, if you've got any questions, let me know, and uh, I hope I helped.